Hi guys, welcome to the Crypto Guru's channel. Uh, thanks for subscribing. We see that uh, hundred uh, more subscribers have been added in the last one week. So thanks for subscribing and thanks for staying connected. Um, in our series of ICO reviews, this uh, next ICO that we are going to talk about is Arc Block. So I'll start with an interesting fact that uh, there are forty one thousand members which have already been added to the telegram group so i also tried to check out if this is an outcome of a very interesting bounty or uh, any special referral bonus which is given to telegram uh, subscribers but uh, no argblog does not have a very strong uh, bounty for joining the telegram group so in all likelihood the number of members that you see here are genuinely interested in the ico uh, so yeah let's uh, review the ico and uh, let's try to understand why it is so interesting so uh, to start with uh, let's understand uh, what is the what are the major problems facing the current uh, version of the blockchain industry uh, so i'm when i'm talking about the current version i am talking about blockchain one more commonly known as bitcoin and blockchain two which is more commonly known known as ethereum or eth so uh, the major issues which we see uh, in the existing world of blockchain is poor performance uh, which means that the number of transactions uh, can be bit anywhere between 5 to 50 transactions per second whereas the demand for uh, uh, the number of transactions per second is already high and is expected to touch even higher numbers in the near future uh, they're not consumer friendly so which means that uh, you need to know very strong coding and you need to be a tech whiz in order to be able to understand the technical details of the blockchain one or two version uh, the third aspect is cost so the extremely high cost of using blockchain technology is a major barrier to the mainstream adoption so the reason why uh, it has only been popularized to a certain extent has not become a mainstream option uh, for transactions and uh, new enablements is because of the high cost that it incurs then uh, there is platform lock-in so which means that there is platform specific coding so you need to be an expert in uh, writing codes on a particular technology uh, in order to be able to work on one of these blockchain one or blockchain two which means there is definitely a need to uh, have another uh, form or another platform where anybody with the knowledge of any kind of coding can uh, contribute and create uh, new technical advancements so that's a need of the R and uh, so and, and a major problem facing the current world of the blockchain industry. Uh, also lack of features. So lack rich features uh, like uh, sharing with community and uh, you know so creating stacks with the help of uh, user of community. So the, the, the involvement of community is very minimal and uh, most of the uh, tech ways take away most of the heat and uh, most people who want to create uh, plat uh, new systems and new uh, enablements in the technology stay away from it because of the complexity and uh, the lack of features. So the point here is that due to all these problems there definitely is a need to come up with a platform which provides uh, better features in terms of performance, in terms of consumer friendliness and openness, etc. And at the same time, uh, a platform which can optimize cost to a large extent would also be fruitful in serving the purposes of the larger audience. So, which is what brings us to our current ICO, which is creation of the ArcBlock platform. So what ArcBlock is trying to do is, uh, it is trying to solve all the problems that we have listed in the uh, slide before this one uh, through its new design so so unlike uh, blockchain 1 and blockchain 2 ArcBlock is going to be a platform service rather than a standalone software package so which means that uh, it will be a platform service open to people uh, which means that it will be able to uh, people will be able to access it from uh, networks uh, with the help of cloud so it has enabled cloud computing and it's a it is an incentive driven marketplace for reusable services components and even applications which none of the blockchain one or black blockchain two is so 
and with a with another difference miners in this particular case are not going to only bring computing resources moreover they help to build the platform together by providing reusable components new services and even ready to deploy applications right so all in all this uh, is taken as an extract from the white paper and sounds so very complex but uh, the gist of it is that uh, with the help of an open access protocol uh blockchain 3 or arc block is trying to provide individuals and uh, organizations to create applications with the help of cloud it is providing an opportunity for miners to utilize the computing power into creation of applications which are decentralized again with the incorporation of cloud so which means that the power which is now going to be which was now uh until now used for only solving algorithms which were of not any fruitful purposes is going to change and arglog is going to come up with utilization of that power into useful purposes so that's a and that is what makes it interesting and that is what has made it famous already so yes the protocol that is going to be used is open chain access protocol which is enabled open connectivity over multiple blockchain protocols so which means that it will be able to interact with both blockchain blockchain 1 blockchain 2 and its own new creation so which is again an interesting aspect because we right now see that the blockchain 1 and blockchain 2 do not interact with each other which makes it very difficult for individuals to decide as to which particular uh, technology should they go into so another revolutionary component of uh, the arc block platform is going to be blocknet that takes advantage of the latest microservice architecture and serverless computing technology so it's a high level application and uh, it can be implemented with any platform or language so again freeware open source that's what blockchain is all about right and blockchain 3 is an attempt to revolutionize the same so yeah so the arc block platform seems to be uh good looking good until now uh, at least on paper now let's see how uh, it is trying to solve the problem and uh, you know creating Okay so yeah it uses an open chain access protocol and that open chain access layer is going to create an abstract layer going to be an abstract layer for accessing underlying blockchains so the different components of underlying blockchains can be you can be accessed with the help of this open chain access layer so this was not present until now in blockchain 1 and 2 and this layer is what going to uh, is what is going to differentiate blockchain 3 or arc block uh from uh, the likes of blockchain 1 and blockchain 2 also yes uh i shouldn't forget to mention that the this will enable your application to work on different blockchain so you now need need not create uh multiple applications for use of bitcoin and ethereum but you will have one uh, single application which will cater to both bitcoin as well as ethereum now so this is what uh is defined you know the arc block has tried to define as a key difference between blockchain 1 2 and 3 so blockchain 1 is started with simple ledgers which record transactions uh and it was a revolution in itself because uh, it was decentralization of transaction recording and it was never thought of uh, before this uh, done with the help of elliptical uh, digital signature algorithm and appreciated really well Uh, then came blockchain 2 which was all about smart contracts which enabled creation of different type of applications on the blockchain and uh, with the help of smart contracts it was possible to interact between different components of uh, those applications and with uh, even more uh, development in the industry now the upcoming uh, blockchain 3 uh, presents itself with the following things like cloud node open chain access like blocklet which is a middleware and an incentive for self evolution so i think these features put together is going to make uh, blockchain more user friendly and is going to bring a lot of traction to uh, to industries where blockchain is untapped and i think uh, this could be uh, changing the whole ecosystem you know so there could be a lot of migration of industries from the existing uh systems to blockchain if this happens because this ensures that the application can be created on one platform and used on multiple so yes so the looking at the design principles of arc block uh, the user experience comes first so they are focusing more on the user experience than the concept 
uh, then performance matters so it is going to be speed and cost optimized uh, it is going to be an open and standard system which means that access will be freely available to individuals and organizations uh, based on whenever they like and it will going to be an incentive driven economy so everybody will be incentivized on the basis of the job that he does now the advantages uh, as easily highlighted here is built for the new token economy so it's going to create another series of revolution uh, in the blockchain world in the world of cryptocurrency it is optimized for the best performance yes and the best experience yes uh, we've already discussed that uh, it is built for the cloud which is unlike blockchain one and two and it's a big differentiator uh, yeah it's an open standard which means that uh, the application developers wants and needs are going to be satisfied even in a bigger way here so so the core components will be outsourced and uh, the variety of blockchain technology communities which we are going to see are going to be huge because of the open source aspect of it now looking at the ICO, this was the screenshot taken at uh, January twenty first. That is uh, today. It's a, it's already popular, and uh, the amount of applicants and the amount of traffic has led to uh, them taking a decision on closing the public sale registration on January twenty first itself. And now they are going to start with the public sale on in the next thirteen days. So they've stopped the private sale they've taken stop the registrations for public sale and they're going live on 3rd feb now so long time to, for you to make a decision to think about it now the token distribution that they're planning to do is 45 percent of the tokens are going to be for sale available for sale which will amount to around 1 uh, 86 million tokens uh, the token sign is abt so the finite number of abt is created and uh, there will be no inflation so the cost of an abt is going to remain the same so all tokens are pre-minted no mining is required so maximum token amount for sale is 45 percent so not more than 45 percent of the tokens will be going to be sold then marketing and partnering support which is eight uh, percent so bounty campaign campaign is around one percent uh, team or the labs who are going to work on it are going to take 15% of the tokens and the miner community is going to take 32% of the tokens. The soft cap that they are looking at is around 12,000 Ethereum. The hard cap is around 38,000 Ethereum plus 6 million CMT. So I think uh, it's around uh, going to be around uh, 25 or 30 million. So we'll see about that. Uh, so there is KYC required for public sale, but the public sale is sorry for the private sale and the private sale uh, is already closed for the public sale. The hard cap is uh, is mentioned here and one Ethereum is equivalent to 1900 ABT. So and maximum that a person can invest is 50 Ethereum. So I don't know. So 50 Ethereum sounds like a good amount. So close to 50,000 US dollars considering the rate of Ethereum right now. Uh, yeah, so so a small a small assessment of the market cap uh, for this particular ICO. Uh, they are looking at uh, raising forty two million from the token sale, and uh, the team is going to get fifteen million. So there is going to be a a big team of technical individuals who is going to work in on creation of this particular platform, and they're going to take fifteen million of the uh, stake for the hard work that they have put in. Uh, then miners are going to take another 30 million because uh, of the effort that they have put in and the total market cap of this coin is going to be around 85 million dollars which is going to be huge and looking at the current statistics I don't see that it doesn't get fully subscribed there's no way that it is not going to hit its uh, hard cap so I am looking at uh, so when this gets launched it is going to start at a uh, market cap of around 85 million dollars which is huge so i think uh, that's it from my side you can take a decision on whether to buy or not to buy this ico based on your assessment uh, you can already see that the number of telegram subscribers is high uh, they've already closed the list for public sale and they are hitting very hard already so yeah take a call make a decision you still have 13 days to make a decision and decide so that's all from my side. Thank you.